Hello again, everybody. I am Jeff of The Game Capital and thegamecapital.com. My apologies for a little hiatus here again. I was away for a little bit and just been busy with stuff, but hopefully get back on track here with videos sooner than later. Don't know if we'll be consistent right out the gate again here, but we've got some new procs in that I want to get started on. Uh, today we're going to be opening up all three of the brand new Pokemon Galar Partner Tins uh, featuring Inteleon, Rillaboom, and Cinderace V cards. Um, we'll probably also open up, not in this video, but probably next year or two, this Toxtricity V box. I won't open them on the channel, but we will have available in store starting on Friday some new Pokeball tins. This play has three Ultra Balls, two Dive Balls, and one Pokeball. Um, all of these products release on Friday, so if you're local, we'll have them available in our store in West De Pere, uh, Wisconsin, starting on Friday when we open at 10 a.m. But like I said, Dave will open up these three tins. Uh, they're a little different than the previous like Take Team tins. Same tin design, same MSRP of $25. Uh, but now there aren't GX attacks. There is no Metal GX counter. So what do we get instead? We get a fifth booster pack. So basically, the Metal GX counter we got before is valued the same two Pokemon as um, a booster pack. So uh, we're going to open these up. We'll go water, then fire, then grass for whatever reason. So I'll show you in the back here again. Powerful partner Pokemon V from Galar. Grass and fire and water types, the foundations of the Pokemon trainer's team. Choose the thunderous beat of Rillaboom V, the speedy fire and quick moves of Cinderace V, or the shifting, splashy moves of the clever Inteleon V in the Pokemon trading card game Galar Partners Tin. Each of these fantastic tins contains a full-powered and entirely awesome Pokemon V fully evolved from a first partner Pokemon of the Galar region. Like I said, in this tin you'll find one of three of those foil V cards, five Pokemon booster packs, and a code card to unlock a promo card in the Pokemon trading card game online. So it doesn't specify for these that you get a deck like you usually would for the tins. So I don't know if you get literally just the one GX, you get two copies of it, you get a deck. I'm not sure. It does not specify. It just says you unlock a promo card singular. So I guess assume the code only gets you one copy of the V and anything extra that is a bonus. Uh, if you have personally... Uh, once someone redeems these, if you want to leave in the comments and let us know what you got with the code to help confirm for everyone, let us know. I'm sure we'd all appreciate it. So, Inteleon V. Well, let's get open and we'll take a closer look then, shall we? Very curious to see what sets are in here. I'm going to guess two Sword and Shield, um, maybe one Cosmic, one Unified Minds, and then one like Evolutions or Steam Siege or something. The Doctricity V box back here has two Sword and Shield, one Cosmic Eclipse, and one Evolutions. You can't really see right now, but that's what's in that one, so... I'll assume there's still one XY era pack in here. Uh, maybe one of the packs will also be a uh, standard rotated Sun and Moon sets. So maybe we'll get like, maybe it'll be Evolutions and like Crimson Invasion or something, and then three newer packs. I'm going to assume two Sword and Shield, if not three, and uh, hopefully at least one pack that's either Cosmic Eclipse or Sword and Shield. Or sorry, Cosmic Eclipse or Unified Minds. But we will see here in just a hot second. So. Get the actual tin out of the way. Let's see how they package this bad boy here. Looks like they're in pretty good shape. Just, okay, the code's behind it. But yeah, I I like it when they actually have like the little... It's in place, so it shouldn't be damaged. I do have to bring it behind cam here because that's what I got to do to be safe about popping it out here. The code and all. So, got the code. Let me put this bad boy in this. Well, I'll put it in a sleeve a sec, but just show you here. Looks very clean. I don't know why they can't package all promos like this. Like a lot of times in the V or GX boxes, they don't do that. Uh, hopefully they will. Maybe that one is. I, it's hard to tell, but... but. So yeah, they just have it in there with this piece of plastic is like keeping it pushed in. There's, there's no prawns. Because those plastic prawns that hold the cards in place are just murder on your cards. So, not a fan. This is promo SWSH016. 200 HP, has Snipe Shot for 1 energy, does 40 to 1 of your opponent's Pokemon, and Aqua Report does 130 for 3 energy, and your opponent reveals their hand. To retreat cost, weak to lightning. Nothing too special. Uh, we'll show you when we get to it, but I think Rillaboom V is the only V that might see any play. Uh, this and the Cinderace V seem pretty basic, unless I'm missing something, but not a whole lot of awesomeness. So then the five packs. We've got Sword and Shield. Sword and Shield... Cosmic Eclipse, so far spot on. Burning Shadows and Evolutions. All right, I'll take that. Two shots at different Charizards. I know Darius did a couple of major, major openings of these two sets recently, so uh, always good to and fun to chase those Charizards. So, so if you're going to give us packs that aren't standard legal, 
those are two of the better ones to give us, I think, anyway. I mean, there's not really any X, Y, set I prefer to have over Illusions, even if it's not that great of a set value-wise to open right now. And amongst the first four Side Moon sets, Burning Shadows, I feel like, is one of the better ones to open as well. So, it has some of the better Secret Rare Energies. You got the Charizard Rainbow Rare, so... Definitely some high-end value potential there, so... No complaints for me. No complaints for me. But let's get to cracking some packs here, and let's see what goodies we can find. So let's be doing four of the front here. Oh, I messed that up, I guess. Nine Tails Hollow for the Evolutions pack. Spoiler alert. What did I do? Did four of the front. Oh, because the energy is not guaranteed. That's why. Okay, yeah. My bad. And two Pikachus. One pack. That's not too bad. Not too bad for Evolutions. Pikachus. Yeah, Reverse Pikachu, Hollow Ninetales, we'll take that. We'll take that. So yeah, note to self. For Evolutions, do three to the front. For all the Sun and Moon sets and Sword and Shield sets, you can do four to the front. All right. Four to the front. We've got Lightning Energy, Gloom Gloom, Seedra, Bodybuilding Dumbbells, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandigast, Hoot Hoot, Buffalant Reverse, and a shy nautic. And actually, I'm gonna. Oh, somebody answered that fast. I feel like every time I do a video, someone calls. There hasn't happened a phone call in the store for a while today. And now, of course, as soon as I start doing a video, then someone calls the store. Don't say their name. What are you doing? Why is no one answering this yet? Oh my goodness. There we go. All right. So I'm gonna actually crack these other two tins first, just so I can make my piles by uh, set better. So. Let's, uh, and if you guys want to see the V's do, you can skip to the end and see the polls probably if you really, really need to. But if you want to chill and watch too, you know, that's cool. That's appreciated. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. If I can actually open this thing here. Da 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 da. All right. Peel off. Not peel, but you know. Bring you behind. Oh my gosh. The struggle is real. I'm out of practice, guys. I'm out of practice. I did just open a bunch of card fight off camera that we've opened before on the channel. Uh, EBO7, EBO8 for those that are familiar with card fight. We did pull an XVR uh, harmonic from uh, EBO7. No XVR from EBO8, though, of Maelstrom. Alright, so the next V is Cinder Ace V. That is promo number 15. 210 HP. Ability Field Runner. If a stadium is in play, this Pokemon has no retreat cost. And then Crimson Legs does 140 for 3. So again, nothing too special there to write home about. And then we got the packs. So I'm just going to put those off to this. Well, let's see. Do, 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 do. So yeah, same, same sets, same sets. And then Rillaboom. I'm going to do, 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 do. it open here behind camera because it's just a lot easier and less destructive overall. Let's see, uh, I'm not, not doing any, sh any switching, no fancy shenanigans, because I, I got better things to do than that, but, you know, teach their own, teach their own. Bada bum, tin lid, throw you down, bada bing, bada boom. Try to keep the packs in frame so no one thinks I'm doing any switcheroos. Again, if you think I am, well, I don't care what you think. All right, real boom V. Get you in a sleeve. Show you off. So we got 220 HP, highest HP of the three, promo 14. Forest Feast for one energy. Search your deck for up to two basic grass Pokemon and put them onto your bench. Then shuffle your deck. So not a bad guy if you end up stuck with him as your starter. At least he helps you build up your board state. And then Woodhammer for four energy does 220. This Pokemon also does 30 damage to itself. So he hits the biggest number of the three by far. Damages himself, but not that big a deal. Helps with setup. And with that setup, you can get, you know, your Grookey and evolve to your state Trudel Boom. That helps with your energy acceleration. So you can actually pull off the wood hammer uh, possibly pretty early. So yeah, turn one, you can Forest Feast, get Grookey on the bench. Uh, your turn two, you can attach an energy to him. So he's got two. You can Rare Candy to Rillaboom Boom stage two on the bench. Use the ability. You can use wood hammer turn two. It's doable. It's doable. Um, as long as you're able to attack on your first turn. So you got to be going second, right? So yeah, Real Boom V. If any of these Vs are going to see any play, it should be Real Boom in my opinion. I don't know why the other ones would see play unless they just hit a magical number for something with weakness and gets you an Oko on something. But there's 
feel like there's going to be better options anyway. And then, yep, same sets again. So, Evolutions Pack from the Cinderace tin, which I'm not going to very really sort of kind of just kind of go with it here. So, three to the front. We've got Energy Retrieval, Blastoise Spirit Link, Switch, Onyx, Weedle, Machop, Tangela, Vulpix, Reverse Polyrath, all right, and a Hollow Hitmonchan. So two for two on Hollows from Evolutions. So it's gonna have a pile of Evolutions there, and then the rest I'll really sort. And then the Evolutions pack from Rillaboom. Try to keep track of what comes from what tin, so you guys can help me decide uh, what tin gave us the best pulls. Doesn't mean that will be the same always, but it's always a nice little competition to have. And got Nita Reno, Pidgeot Spirit Link, Porygon, Fire Energy, Voltorb, Charmander, Diglett, Ghastly, a Nine Tails Break, and Eradicate. So we got a hit in all Evolutions packs. We got a Nine Tails Break, a Hollow Nine Tails, and a Hitmonchan Hollow. So not too shabby. All right, Burning Shadows from the Cinderace uh, tin. Do 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 do. One, two, three, four. Oh, and FY, in case you're in the area, our next Pokemon League Cup will be March 22nd here at the Game Capital. So if you're in the area or somewhere within uh, driving distance, definitely check us out for that. Uh, Facebook event is up now, and it should be on Pokemon's website as well. Water Energy, Weakness Policy, Hitmore, Curlia, Morlul, Caterpie, Meryl, Rhyhorn, Sandigast, Reverse Gloom, and a Lichen Rock. So Burning Shadows is not giving us anything thus far. Let's see if the Rillaboom tin, Rillaboom tin comes through here on the Burning Shadows front. For the front once more. Darkness Energy, Simipor, Rotom Dex, Poe Town, Alolan Rattata, Panpor, Caterpie, Porygon, Sock, Rhyhorn Reverse, and Electivire. So Burning Shadows, 0 4 3 on pulling anything. All right. So now we've got Cosmic Eclipse Pack. So this one will be the Inteleon one. So, so far, all three tins got us one hit. If you include the break as a hit. It's not a white code situation, but it's still a hit. Four to the front. Metal Energy. I will get four different kinds of energy in this tin. That's kind of wild. Great Catcher. Dragonium Z Dragon Claw, Dust Clops, Trap Inch, Oddish Oddish, Rufflet, Piplup, Alolan Vulpix, Reverse Nose Pass, and Palisand. Cinderace one. We gotta get an Ultra Rare here. I, I guess the break kind of counts as an Ultra Rare, but it's not really worth pulling. <laughs> Water Energy, Island Challenge Amulet, Erica. Vibrava, Swirlex, Alolan Grimer, Slugma, Chinchow, Cosmog, Reverse Snow Runt, and Empoleon. That's pretty cool art, though. Pretty cool. And the last Cosby Eclipse Pack from the Rillaboom tin. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Lightning, Gloom Gloom, Lana's Fishing Rod, Type No. Ponyta, Sunkern, Cosmog, Psyduck, Trap Inch, Pangoro Reverse, and a Sylveon. Ooh, man. That's six straight duds between Brain Shadows and Cosmic Eclipse. Um, let's see. How do I do this now? Um, I'm just going to quick pick up the Cosmic Eclipse ones so I have a row here to deal with. So there's our Cosmic Eclipse. All right, Sword and Shield, two packs from the Inteleon tin. We're due for something here, folks. And pull rates on this set are the best pull rates I've seen in quite some time. So we got to get something, right? Right? Who's with me? Let's get a Zashion, shall we? Grass energy. So, yeah, I say it's cool we get, like, all these different kind of, kind of energies. So one, two, three, and where's the fire energy we got? Da -da 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 -da. Where are you? So yeah, four different sets, four different styles of energy. That just kind of amusing to me that you can get four different types of energy from one product, but that's how they roll. 
That's how they roll. Nope, you go there, you go there. All right, Grass Energy, Quillfish, Poke Kid, Energy Search, Chin Chow, Diglett, Fiddle Seed, Goldeen, Rosalia, Chudo Reverse, and a Delmize V. So we finally got ourselves an Ultra Rare. Nothing too awesome, but we still got five more packs to find some more awesome. So, uh, unless you count the break, that is our first Ultra Rare. And that one came from the Inteleon tin. And last pack then for Inteleon. What will it give us? Probably nothing, right? Probably nothing. One, two, three, four. Darkness. Hop. Poke Gear. Sudabudo. Pincurchin. Vulpix, Nicket, Beltoy, Chinchow, Cloister Reverse, and a Durant. Move that Ultra Rare up. So the Inteleon Tin gave us a Delmize and a Hollow Nine Tails. So now let's send her up, finish up the Cinderace Tin, which so far has only given us a Hitmonchan Hollow. Something's got to become a clear winner here because there's not much to compete against thus far. Lightning. Ferrothorn, Crushing Hammer, Kingler, Salandit, Galerian Ponyta, Minchino, Sobble, Blipbug, Grookey Reverse, and a Sandaconda. My Sandaconda don't. You know. You know the rest. You know the rest. So that's two hollows from the Cinderace tin. Last pack for Cinderace. If we get a V or better in this pack, that kind of puts Cinderace in the lead by default, I feel like, so far. But let's see. Let's see. Fighting Energy, Energy Retrieval, Ferrothorn, Heatmore, Chinchow, Croagunk, Galarian Meowth, Scorbunny, Sinistee, Fievel, Fievel, it's probably Fievel, and Snorlax. So basically, it, well, I guess that puts... um. The uh, Inteleon's in the lead, I feel. Delmai's V and a Ninetales versus a Hollow Sandaconda and a Hollow Hitmon Shan. All right. Let's see if Rillaboom can become the clear leader here. So far, just a Ninetales break from the Rillaboom tin with two packs of Sword and Shield to get us home here. We've got a Fire Energy, Fawacky, Pokegear, Aurora Energy, Silly Cobra, Trickster for Kids, Yamper, Krabby, Cufant, Baltoy, Galarian Point Tower Reverse, and more Peko V. So, kind of puts it, well, if you put the break, I feel like in Evolutions, the Hollows are generally worth more than the breaks are just because of like the nostalgia factor. So, this gets it really, really close uh, to tying up the uh, Inteleon tin, but. If we get a hit of any kind here, hollow or better, I feel like that makes it the winner. But let's see. This is our last pack. Last chance for glory. And we've got Psychic Energy, Salazzle, Doug Trio, Pokemon Center Lady, Sobble, Pincurchin, Blipbug, Rhyhorn, Minchino. The reverse is a lucky egg. Give us all the luck, you lucky egg, you. And the ray of the pack is... Musharna. So yeah, I'm going to need your help, guys. Let me know in the comments what tin you feel is the winner. Uh, the Inteleon tin... I can just get these out all pretty quick. I should have put those in sleeves away too, but... Well, that Pikachu Reverse, I'm going to throw that out there too. Because that, that was a thing. That was a thing. I'll just go like that. And... Da, 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 da. Bada bing... And, oh, the Polyrath Reverse, too. So, the Inteleon tin gave us a Ninetales Hollow, a Pikachu Reverse, and a Delmize V. So, that's what Inteleon gave us. Cinderace gave us a Reverse Polyrath, a Hitmonchan Hollow, and a Sandaconda Hollow. And the Rillaboom V gave us a Ninetales Break and a more Peko V. So let me know in the comments, which of these three tins would you have most wanted to open? Which pulls do you think were best? Ignore what V you think is the best. Just which five pack contents would you have liked the best? Would you have wanted to get the Hollow Nine Tails Reverse Pikachu and Delmize V? Or the Polyrath Reverse Hitmonchan Hollow, Sandaconda Hollow, or the Nine Tails Break and Marpeco V? Let me know what you think is the best, because it's kind of a toss-up, really. Kind of personal preference, as it's all pretty equal across the board there. 
No uh, home run hits, unfortunately, today, uh, but some lower end pulls overall. Maybe our Toxtricity V-Box will be better, which will probably open in the next day or two. So hopefully you enjoyed this opening all the same. At least give you guys a look at what uh, sets you can probably expect in these tins. It's possible to be multiple waves, and if you buy these tins months from now, maybe the pack sets will be different. If you buy them from Walmart for local game store, maybe they'll be different runs for them, and their packs will be different. It's hard to say, uh, but if you get these tins from us in store anyway, you should get the same sets I did in the same quantities. One Evolutions, one Burning Shadows, one Cosmic Eclipse, and two Sword and Shield. So again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button. Visit thegamecapital.com for your Pokemon card and other trading card game needs. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time, whenever and wherever that may be.